you. Um, my question is actually around the comments that were made earlier around sense and respond, uh, David. I, I agree with your model. I think it's a perfect model for, um, for new brands. Um, I'm more cautious about it, though, when it comes to more established organizations that have deep processes in place. You know, they build their MRDs and then their PRDs, and you know, they go and they focus test. So, my, my question to you is more around: you know, to what degree do you think that model is is number one adaptable to more established organizations? And and if it is adaptable, what do larger what do those larger brands or more established brands need to do in order to actually make it work? Um. People would think you actually set me up this question. Because it's so <laughs> no, 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 not no, at all. Not no, it's at all. good. No, it's perfect because it's the right question, which is, does that idea scale? And amazingly, that that idea comes from P and G. So that conversation is with the global online advertising guy who does a strategy. Ted O'Connell, a couple of people come over dinner we had a couple weeks ago, and he's like, P and G is going to cannibalize advertising to go to a sense of respond model. Because we think we can spend more effectively listening across all our channels, analog and digital, and spend less, and only spend where the response is because of measurement, and unified conversion tracking, and attribution. The next, the next phase we're going to is the attribution piece. They also know that because of being part of the conversation, they can respond to you know, um, why you know, Febreze commercials are bad when they spray the Pope. That's bad, right? Lots of uh, Catholics and you know, <laughs> bad product branding, which can happen a lot, you know, things like that. And I, I think that sense and respond means that you can, you know, if you want to move, before they're going to start spending money up front, and they move the needle. And moving the needle on a brand pretty much can only happen, this is disputable, in mainstream broadcast television. If you look at the math, you can't go and spend a million dollars on a, a series of ads in online and move total psychic, uh, psychic opinion or brand recognition in a month. It just can't be done. So, uh, not the same scale. So, those before they start spending or that money, glasses. <laughs> before they before they start doing that again, they're going to start using this form of looking at the marketplace about their products and about their reputation, and then learn what it should be, what should be the customer and then start re reconstituting those methods to build brand and, and kind of consciousness around products. So, awesome question. Happy to tell you it's actually coming out of the big Goliaths that are thinking this way. And it's going to change, fundamentally, the advertising landscape. We haven't even seen that wave come yet. It's happening. No, but now I can use you for my pitch to my senior management to change the way we do this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can't go and club the marketplace anymore. <laughs> so. This has been terrific. I hope you